What's good guys got well I owe you versus versus Scarface or however you pronounce this guy missed a few turns cuz I yeah they were supposed to play in 30 minutes so I didn't think they would play now so I went away so he leads with Vardwai eats up the sludge wave from Gengar and hits a uh, fire blast which is nice to see cuz like Sweepage missed fire blast earlier I guess disabled it's funny how cuz party activates like so often feels like um he's probably hammer tangles yeah Metagross gets the boost though, so that Tangross is like taking a huge hit. Okay, nice to see him hit his moves. Goes land. Okay, the Mew comes out. This is probably defensive rocks land. Though, if you didn't want to stay in a potential will wisp uh, chance is pretty obvious here. You can either spike or double or U turn. Yeah, if you're not U turn, you double obviously, or if you don't want to spike, you double. Wasn't the clef scouting for potential low kick maybe? That's flamethrower clef. That did a lot. Is that offensive clef? No, it's it's lefties. But it might. Mm. I guess it just does a lot of damage. So he's healing some damage. Um, off. The chat is saying, "Well, I owe you a slit right now." Did he make some like fire play that I missed? Cause I'm all, cause I'm a few turns behind. He has these. Um. I'm wondering if this would be unaware clef. It would make. Could potentially be Animal Cliff. Because he has such a fat team, but I don't know. Doesn't Zart die to this? Yeah, Zart dies to plus two Horn Leech. So this is uh, potential Scar Fermosa, potential Zemo Fermosa, Hard Metagross on Ice Beam. That did a lot. Is that. I don't know if that's Specs. Maybe that's Modest Scarf. Actually, hmm. I'm not sure. Tangrus goes for the knock, uh, assume it's helmet landing, yeah, exactly. And he probably just gets up rocks here, or he U-turns, yeah. And, does he just go hard ninja? Yeah. Does he knock off? He, he just defogs, yeah, that makes more sense, obviously. You wanna get rid of the rocks. That's his only potential defogger. Um, he could be rapid spin for Mosa too. But yeah, default, um, use a bit more reliable, cause Fermosa is so frail. You don't always get the spin off. Like you get the spin off, but some scenarios you have to sack it. As he okay, as these with the bulo on the chancy and something is taking this horn leech. I assume Tangrowth is coming out, yeah. Okay, I get the crit that a ton. Um he's probably gonna switch out here to get region into what is the question. No, he just sacks it, okay. I guess he didn't have a switch and And he got some helmet and some poison damage on the bulo at least. Um, what is he going out into here? Is he going into Landers? Nah, the Ice Beam is a po nah. Ice Beam or Poison Jab? If he goes Landers on the Poison Jab, he okay. So we're actually live right now. The the f we are turn twenty now, and well, I owe you is taking its time. We are finally have that is nice to see. I hope my microphone is getting picked up and everything else is fine. Didn't double check if the dimensions were right because I. Move my computer downstairs so I don't wake anyone up. It's uh, 3 2 30 a.m. here. People are sleeping uh, upstairs. Go guard some an ice beam. Oof. What does he have for this now? Gets the attack boost so he's mixed. I don't know. I thought he would be like special because the ice beam did, I think, 15 to meta. I thought that was a lot of damage. But I guess Metagross doesn't have the best speed death. If this is not choice lock, he's like done, but it's probably Scarf, yeah. Like this makes sense to be the scarf on his team, but this is like some weird team, like kind of like the team Zemrock brought, like a lot of fat mons and then some offensive mons. Like Zemrock had a Volcarona. By the way, Zemrock already uploaded his SPL match and nah, rip my views, rip. Because I wanted to upload that match like in a few minutes. Ooh, he s wakes up. I was about to say thought that did so much. Good God, is that a roll? <laughs> of course, it wakes SMH. <laughs> Are you crying, dude? At least he had a sleep out on this fire blast. Yeah, yeah, medium mesh can miss. Okay, doesn't get the roll, doesn't get the boost. Blue wisp hit. Doesn't raise scarf, it's just win now with. Uh, Fermosa kinda wins. Chansey plus Clef. Checks uh, Greninja. 
Greninja and Lando is checked. What is the Z move on? Probably was the guard jump. If it's mm, Scarf jump or Scarf Gengar? Probably Scarf Gengar and Z move jump. Not 100% sure. Let's see. So you go to a chance here for a Mosa here. Yeah, like I had like something was telling me I had a feeling that they were playing. This always happens, dude. Yeah, when you when you go away for some minutes and want to chill. Another game just pops up. Like even though it's scheduled at a specific time, you just cannot you just cannot rely on the schedule because like some people just say no no no, no I'm playing earlier or no 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 we're playing next day. I he's just going through all his options here, maybe calking too. Um like what is his best option to win? Like if he goes most he has to hit a high jump kick. Does it really matter? Like, yeah, Gen is fine too. Like, even this has hammer arm, it's, it's burned, so it doesn't do shit to Gen Z. Yeah. I mean, Tapu Bulu can potentially win this for him, I was about to say, but not if he lets it get low. Like, if the Faramosa wouldn't have poison jet, maybe Bulu could win? Because he could live an ice beam if it heals his health back. But the last move on most is poison jab, probably right. Actually, it could be spin for like a last ditch effort, spin for the Zard in case Mew doesn't get off the defog. So maybe it's not poison jab. But yeah. I think if Garface wins this, but it's. Like, he obviously has to switch to Chen Xiao to keep it healthy for the ninja. It's gonna be closed though. Ow, oh, come on, dude. I, like, I don't care if this is game deciding or not, but I hate Hex. I'm gonna get so mad. <laughs> dude, I'm gonna pull a sweep it and throw. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna say anything in the chat, but I'm gonna throw my computer out the window. Sweep it apologized to Blunder though, like, at least. I mean, I can, I can kinda understand that you get super mad, you get Hex into it. I mean, he didn't say anything. I'm not like saying anything. Why is this SP health so hexy? Good God! Can, like, can we catch a break? Yeah, like TD. Yeah, TDK said it in his chat. Most of high jump kick um, sweep is more likely with Landris being burned. Blunder said he threw it away when he stayed him with Margaret on a wisp. Um, yeah, I guess they could have gone into Greninja or into um, Tapu Bulu on the on the Will -O Wisp. Yeah, that would have been a good play if he made. Oh God, he has the up. If he didn't get burned, something would die right here. But then nothing. Okay. Okay, so it's not Anubar Cliff. I don't know why I was thinking that. I was thinking it's like some sort of semi star so it could maybe be Anubar Cliff, but it's not. Because softball is not legal with that, it's just magic card. That mash doesn't even kill this, he can't just softball spin. You can even flame throw, um. For most of us, Chansey wins, I think. Like, let's say. Let's say he kills this mana grass. The flamethrower here and uh, his cleft gets weakened. Tapu Bulu might get a kill afterwards. Gets uh, then gets revenged by U turn from Fermosa. If he goes Bulu instead, uh, if he goes Ninja instead and Gangsters. I don't know, like. I don't think there's a point in going through all the scenarios. The race guy should win this. Mm, Bandit Bulu might have been better in this situation here. 
Yeah, that did nothing. Good god. Bulu is weak. What the fuck? I mean, maybe he's max defense clef, but... That's like disappointing damage. What? I thought Bulu could kill a clef on 40. Clef on 50 or 60 or whatever health it was at. Good god. I mean, I've used choice bandit Bulu a lot, so that's why the damage is disappointing to me. Yeah, just, you just you turn here and it's over. Sorry. I mean, Bracecarve is on fire. That I think he's 6-0 and oh now. Lord Wanda says the easiest 6 weeks SBL any player has been given. Is he trying to say that Aerie Scarf has got easy opponents? Like, if you're sick to know an SPL, I don't think you can talk down on this boy. Like, that's that's some really good record. Like, that's... Nah. You can't say anything about that. That's, like, super good. That boy just forfeited, yeah. Oh, boy. Who's Brahim? Is that, is that your team builder? I don't know Brahim. Let me just um, check the score and everything. I think that was Will I owe you or Will you or Will I? I don't know how you pronounce this guy, but that was his first match. I think this was here. Good God! Chronicles versus Sharks. The score is two and six. Hmm. Here we are. Here we are. Scooters versus Raiders. So the score is four and four. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I'm gonna upload OVO's TDK before this. That match was pretty interesting, honestly. The Thumbrath in the door should be tomorrow, and so is Axel Tim vs. Jimmy Turkwick. So yeah, th this is 4 and 4 on our Scooters vs. Raiders. Kinda hyped to see more from this series. I think this was the last match of the day that is interesting, but I will check the schedule right after. Thank you guys for watching. Um, the SPL content is gonna keep coming. Stay tuned for ma. Stay tuned for more. And wait. When his SD horned at forty, it was moonlight. Uh, I don't know. Like lefties made like a joke. Someone said it was unavailable software while I'm dying. Like that chat just caught my eye. I'm like driving away from my outro. Yeah, but whatever. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching me out. Oh, he changed his sets while testing and didn't go through. Was it supposed to be on a work life or? I think it was supposed to be on a work life. Not 100% sure. Oh, the coach is signing out. Nice and long outro. Have a nice one. Peace.